Another part of it is what's called role entrapment. That is a sense that the role you've gotten into of being a certain kind of a person starts to entrap you. My father told me a story some years ago about a tailor in a Middle Eastern European country. There was a Jewish man who wanted to show that he had done well, so he went to the best tailor in town, whose name was Zumbach, and he said, Zumbach, I want your best suit. So Zumbach made a suit, and the man came in to try on the suit, and he put it on, and it was beautiful material, no doubt about it. But when he put it on, this sleeve was about two inches longer than this sleeve. <clears throat> and he said, Zumbach, he said, I, I don't mean to complain, but he said, this sleeve is two inches longer than this sleeve. Zumbach took a front. Zumbach says, there's nothing wrong with a suit, it's the way you're standing. Stand like this. And he pushes his shoulder down, and the suit then fits perfectly, you see. And the man looks in the mirror, and he sees there's this big bunched up material back here, and he says, Zumbach, would you mind taking that material? My wife hates it when there's that extra bunch of material there. Zumbeck says, there's nothing wrong with a suit, it's the way you're standing, and he pushes his head down like this. So finally, the suit is fitting perfectly, and the man leaves with his new suit on. He's afraid to breathe for fear it won't fit, and he's been completely cowed by Zumbeck, and he gets on the bus, and he's standing on the bus, and somebody comes up and says, what a beautiful suit. I bet Zumbeck de Taylor made that suit. And the fellow said, how did you know? He said, because only somebody as skilled as Zumbach could fit somebody as crippled as you. <laughs> now, uh, the feeling often of role entrapment is that you have gotten into a suit and everybody's saying, what a beautiful suit, what a beautiful suit, except your spine is out of whack and you're feeling inside not the same, not as good. In my